Good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, it's charity shop hunting time, and I am actually doing this on the day that this video is supposed to be going out. So this footage is well over a week old at this point. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm going to see in this footage, and I can't really remember what I picked up. So this is one of my local ones. I tend to go here multiple times a week. To be honest, uh, it opens at nine thirty, so I tend to grab a coffee post office etc etc and then wait for the chat shops to, uh, to open up uh, but there's the prices can be quite high as i'm sure you're, you're aware uh, but every now and then they do do half price sales there's a lot of adidas nike etc etc is there anything to pick up probably not uh what's that that's a shoe that is so, i don't know it is a so felly was that is a pair of hugo bosses but i think they're like 15 20 pound I don't know if I'll go back to that and just show you the price tag, but I'm sure that was either 15 or 20 pounds, and my uh, almost just fell over there. Uh, then we've got the jeans, looking for anything noteworthy. Are they worth picking up? Not too sure. I don't think I picked these up. There must have been something wrong with them, but I can't quite remember. Some Nike Air trackies. Then a jumper in with the trousers, just to confuse everyone. And then we've got some more jumpers. Generally speaking, branded stuff like this uh, is going to be what eight to twelve pounds normally, which usually just sucks most of the profit out. Unfortunately, uh, some suit jackets there. Anything else? God, this is going back because those CDs are like all gone now. There's only maybe one stack left. That definitely was not like that today. Then we've got some books. I know at some point I do pick up some books from that shop, but not today. We'll be going back there later. This is the shop next door. Very, very expensive uh, Rennie Grave. It, or Rennie Grove, what is it? I can't remember. It's one of those anyway. Generally speaking, it's very, very expensive. I, I tend to buy from here maybe once every three or four months because, I mean, look at £12, which isn't too bad. It is brand new with tags, but it's just, just, just no. And they'll charge like £5 for a Primark t-shirt as well. Can't quite see what that is from here. What that price tag is. I think that's a Howick. Uh, Gildan. Northern Seoul. Anything else there? I don't think there is. No. Just shirts and shirts and shirts and shirts. I did get some nice bits this week as well. I know you're not going to see that until the week after. Possibly even New Year at this rate. Uh, but I have picked up some nice bits. If it's worth doing a one-week video on it, then I will. That's my face. I don't know why I did that. Uh, then we're off to another one. Uh, this is near where I work, or one of the, the towns that I work in, uh, generally speaking. It can have some nice quality gear, but again, the prices can be quite high. Just going through, checking the toys, if there's anything to, to pick up. There's a Scooby-Doo. I think that's a money box. Then, what else do we have? Did I pick anything up in here? I don't think I did. I've actually not picked up anything yet. And we've done a fair bit of recording. There's nothing going on. A couple of puzzles. A 3D puzzle. They're not worth picking up anymore. And they take up a lot of room. Or oh, there might be a mug. Is there a mug here? No, I remember picking up that. Oh, that Disney mug on the end. At some point, I do pick up that. And yeah, Paladone not a fan of paladone and they uh they just churn out a lot of rubbish there we go so today's the day I, I pick up the mug i do think about it because it does go for around 10 to 15 pounds or so but I, I think i end up putting it back i might have a quick search now thinking about it there we go let's move the uh, price tag to see if there's any more information at the bottom of the mug not a great amount but it's a decent sized mug. You can probably fit a, a good cup and a half of tea in there. But it's it's definitely not worth picking up. But lo and behold, I'm still going to check. There we go. Mickey Mouse Disney mug. And eventually, I'll work out that it's not worth picking up. But as it stands, it is the 22nd of December. And I've sort of completely forgotten that Christmas is only three days away. So I... I've not really said Merry Christmas, so I'm going to say it now. Merry Christmas. 
hopefully we'll stay out of lockdown into at least January. But I, I do think that one is on the cards, unfortunately. But then as as resellers, for those of us who have a lot of stock, it can be very profitable. So there's one that's listed for sale, but it's not sold. So I was actually looking to make sure that there wasn't any that had sold. But it's $13.99, all in, not really worth picking up. Another one of my local ones, I went back in there today and they are starting to reduce the prices, which I am a massive fan of. I don't mind charity shops starting off asking a high price and obviously then reducing the items on stickier items. Now, a lot of the PS3 games are now £2 each. I might wait, see if they become a pound each and then I might pick them up. But with Christmas only being three days away, they're not going to be quick flips. There's a Harry Potter book there. I think that's Order of the Phoenix. I've already got at least, I think I've got two Order of the Phoenix on the black labels, which is why I didn't pick it up because I just don't need it at the moment, especially for four pound each. Uh, I think that's three or four pounds there. You might be able to see that better than I can on the screen that I am currently looking at. But I don't think I'll pick up anything. It's just checking to make sure that what the prices were doing, which I think at this stage, they're still either three or four pounds each. Tiger Woods is a good title if you can get it cheap enough. What's it going for? James, you're moving too quick, man. I can't see what you're doing. Uh, they actually have had a, a change around uh, today when I went over to the charity shop. Uh, look at the books. Not a great deal going on there. Looking at the T-shirts, I think. Again, nothing. Have I still not bought anything in this video? We've been going on for, what, six minutes? And I, I still don't think I've bought a thing. When do I buy something? Checking labels, see if there's any decent brands. I'm also checking for the, the quality or the, the quality feel of the products as well. It might not be a brand that I know about, but if it feels good, I'll probably end up picking it up. But I don't think there's anything. I really don't. This is at the moment this has just been a seven minute video. Ah, oh, we do buy something. Finally. That is a crew clothing company, I think. Retails at fifty nine pounds. I think they've got it up for six or seven. Oh we've we've gone deep into James, why are you checking it? It's got the tags on it, mate. Ah, uh, you're doing that cheeky barcode. See if it just pings up. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But yeah, are uh, you going to why, why, James? Just pick it up, man. What are you doing? You're such a faffer. Just pick it up. Sling it on your backpack and just take it to the bloody till, man. Yes, it looks lovely. You've got to get it for the footage. Brand new with tags, blah, 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 blah. I think that was me trying to show the camera the price. But obviously the... Um, the the uh the light is not allowing it it's too reflective I'm checking for anything else i think that blue one in my right hand just then has a it felt quite nice but i left it behind then jackets and coats nothing there that denim jacket's been there for about a month i think it's got a horrible pattern on the back off the top of my head uh what else do we have nothing Ah, right, the record section. I remember looking at this. So it was nice to see a lot of decent records. I mean, I, I, oh, hang on. I'm picking up a game. Oh, uh, uh. right. So I, I'm telling you this now in hindsight. I bought this thinking I could flip it for about 20, 25 pounds. But the, uh, the time is missing. So there's a small sand vial, vial timer, sand timer, whatever it's called. I can't remember. And it's missing. And for some reason, I didn't pick that up when I opened it. I actually went through the, the, the trouble of looking to make sure that the, the character pieces were there. Like the, the obvious coloured parts, which you'll see in a minute. And see, see, now I'm looking there and I can see that it's been taped twice. Which to me suggests that someone has already looked in the box. They clocked that the sand timer was missing. However, I didn't. But with that material, it peels off very, very easily. And Num Nuts is about to open the box. And he looks inside. You can see all the stuff on the right-hand side. And he's thinking, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. It's fine. 
go and just throw it on the floor. You got to pick it all up again anyway. Then, so it, it does look complete. In fact, I got everything out. Everything else is there apart from the timer. But I can't then charge 20 to 25 pounds for a game like that where it's missing the timer. So I might be able to get sort of 10 or 15 for it. I was going to take it back to the charity shop, but it's just not worth the hassle. I'll just end up listing it anyway and just state that it's missing the timer. I mean, nowadays, everyone's got a timer on their phone anyway, so it's not really that much of a problem. But yeah, I opened it up and didn't see it. You can see that there's like a a globe, not globe. What's it called? The fortune teller's stone thing. There's six of those on the right-hand side, and they were all there. But then, back to the records, which, as I said, it's very nice to see. That's £25 for News of the World, which it's in very good condition. It's in very good condition. And I wouldn't mind it, but not at 25 quid. There's a few nicks in the in the corners. But there's there's like five or six decent Queen records. And I'm, I think they were all there today, well over a week later. So... We'll have to wait and see whether the price is reduced. Uh, I think at this point I was just looking to see whether there's anything else from that sort of era that would tickle my fancy. Marvin Gaye, Sexual Healing, absolute classic. Uh, what else do we have? No, you two, not a fan personally. But yeah, the the Queen ones, I was really tempted to, to maybe buy a couple, but they would be for personal collection rather than to resell. Blizzard, believe it or not, they did have. I know I'm thinking of Wizard. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. What else do we have there? No, I think it's the next clip. I think I end up walking away and then going back. There we go. So I've gone back, and there's Sheer Heart Attack, Hot Space. That's a, a live concert version, I believe. The Works. There's, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to regret not picking those up because at the moment I do have the money and maybe in hindsight I probably should have. Yeah, you, you can see the CDs. This was a day or two later from one of the previous clips. Uh, and when I was in there the first time around, someone was stood there just scanning everything. And they said that he took well over 100, maybe 170 discs. They were doing 10 for a pound. So I presume he's just gone in there and just traded them all into Music Magpie which I don't blame them at all for. That is Hasbro Family Game Night, worth a couple of quid. We've also got We Play, which I think, is that Wii Sports as well? There is a big box version of Wii Sports. I hope the pandemic, I think you get about 25, 30 pounds for this. If the lockdown does go ahead, uh, there may be, with all the uh, fitness enthusiasts, during the start of the year mixed with a lockdown it could see a huge rise in Wii games especially Wii Sports Wii Sports Resort anything fitness related to be honest uh, so I think I, I ended up buying those they were, I think they were supposed to be 10 for a pound and I couldn't find anything else so I said oh, it's fine just charge me a quid each it's not a problem um, maybe I should have just gone and got seven really rubbish DVDs just to save the money in hindsight i probably should have but i just wanted to get out of the shop I had work to go and do unfortunately chicken and jackets again i don't think anything changed i don't think i'll buy anything from this one i know i pick up a nice jacket this week which will be next week for you guys what am i doing james what are you doing oh do you pick up the books in this one i think i might not those ones i think i have a quick search of these just to have a look because they are i, I love books that look like that with the old leather spines and everything else do we pick up the hobbit book the hobbit and lord of the rings i'm sure that's today no there's a trivial pursuit which i pick up for a pound spoiler alert i sold it within a day possibly two days there we go so it's a genius two i think it's 1987 and it's brand new inside it's never been used at all but You've got to open it up and have a check. But you can see from the box condition itself, it's in very good condition. The only thing is it's very heavy. I think off the top of my head, it weighed about 1.8 kilos. So it was not far off that two kilogram limit for Royal Mail small parcel. But you can see 
absolutely beautiful inside. But even so, just gonna get it out, have a quick look. There we go, look at all those cards. Never been used. So yeah, as I say, I listed that. Uh, I think you'll see that week of a life next week, possibly. And yeah, I only put like eight pound on it plus shipping and it sold very, very quickly. But I thought it was just worth it just to, to get rid of it. Uh, then we've got some board games. Anything there? I don't think there is. Uh, now I'm looking at something. Is this... I think it is. Yes. Yeah, so that is the Lord of the Rings. And there's also a Hobbit there as well. Now I think the, the Lord of the Rings retailed at 50. And I think, I think pre-owned is still going for around 30 to 50. Because you don't see many of them around. And my brother's actually a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so I ended up sending the images over to him, and he said to wait until the Amazon series comes out. But instead, I've listed it, I've gone high, and I'll just wait for the hype to build up around The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings once again. Uh, I bought these two for a pound each. I actually went to the back of the shop and asked if they had any more, because I got some new volunteers in. He said, no, those are the only two that came in. I put them out myself. Uh, in hindsight, bit of a dud, but you'll see that at the end of the video. Is there anything else in this one? That, that bop it, I bought that for 150, I think. Uh, so far, I've used it quite often, uh, and my daughter's using it as well. It's uh, very handy for a nappy change. Just make it go, and and that's it. She's happy to just keep it occupied without her kicking her legs uh, trying to pull a nappy off so for that one pound fifty rental until i sell it absolutely worth it i think at this stage i'm just looking for more star wars books because obviously they were at different ends of the shelf and i thought they were going to be together but no two complete different areas i think i have a quick look at that see the price tag on front that it said it sold for five pound when it was brand new so put that back to where i found it and I don't think there's anything. No, so we're back into one of the other charity shops, which you've already seen once today. And we're checking the games again. But you can see at this point, there's there's not much change. There's maybe one or two games that have sold and nothing new has actually come out. There's a load of toys. Uh, I think they're still in the shop a week later. They're still in the shop a week later because that's got one of the uh, monsters from Monsters University in it. Uh that's sold now so we've got some my little ponies in there we've got a minion we've got edna from incredibles 2 not edna jack jack but looking like edna or was it edna i oh, know i'm sure it was jack jack uh any soft toys nope there's a captain america a batman like binocle type thing i think they're now reduced to three pound they started off at five pound each and now down to three so they, as I say, they do keep on lowering their prices, which is very nice to see because they want to get that stock moving. Uh, but then again, this sort of charity shop does have its own eBay store as well. Hard bike books. I think I have a quick look at one of these. Is it the black and red one? Oh, I was right. It's, it looks terrible. So that goes back on the shelf. I don't know. Did I miss something there? I may well have done. That Alex Ryder book, thinking about it, it, might have been worth picking up. Then we've got Hunger Games on the left-hand side. T-shirts back again, and I don't think... Afternoon! Um, it's Friday, and this is the stuff that I bought throughout the week. I actually bought a lot of books. I don't normally do books, but this week I probably bought about 30 books, if not more. Um, so, first up, we do have... Classic Adventures. Let me just grab the receipt. These came in three different lots. There was red, green, and blue backs. Uh, I paid three pound fifty for each set. So three pound fifty for all the reds, all the blues, and all the greens. Looking at around ninety nine pounds plus shipping for all of them, which is fantastic. Uh, even got a free bag for life out of it as well. So you know that is a long term commitment. Uh, we also bought some jewellery, which I've got hidden away somewhere. Bear with me one minute. Now they had quite a bit of jewellery for sale, but I only picked up the ones that were brand new with the tags. And these are by Lola Rose and they use semi-precious stones. So I paid £5.95 for each one. We're probably looking at about £20 plus shipping back. 
if I can identify exactly what stone it is, which will make life a lot easier. But that, I've got one of those, brand new, with tags, with a little bag, lovely jubbly, and then this one as well. So they had like necklaces and everything. Got absolutely no idea what that's gonna be. Annoyingly, on the tag, the Lola Rose tag, it just says, semi-precious stones. It's really helpful, that. So, costume jewellery, brand new with tags, look quite quirky and nice. We should do all right on it. Uh, then, at some point in the week, we bought a Trivial Pursuit Genus 2 edition. Probably looking at about, I did write it down somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go, professionalism. Probably looking about seven pounds plus shipping. It's quite heavy though, which is a bit of a concern. And the chances are I won't get this listed and sold before Christmas, which kind of sucks. Bought some video games. So we've got We Play, worth around two, three pounds plus shipping. Fam uh, Hasbro Family Game Night, paid pound, is worth about four pound plus shipping. We Sports, uh, around Christmas, or if there's a pandemic on, it's uh, worth around 15, 20 pounds. Normally it's about a tenner. Today I bought some books. Very nice books as far as I'm concerned. We have The Hobbit from 98, I think it is, this print. Paid £2.50. I think it retailed at about 30 when it first came out. Oh no, hang on. There we go. We've got to look at that. £20 until the 31st of December 1997. £25 from the 1st of January 1998. So that was £2.50, which is... A, pretty damn good deal um i was gonna ask my brother whether he wanted these or not but he's already got like two or three copies of the hobbit and the lord of the rings so that was two pound fifty and it's worth around ten pounds or so but i am going to bundle it and can you guess what i'm going to bundle it with you guessed it with the exact same release of the lord of the rings now this retailed at 50 quid when it first came out Paid £3 second hand. We're probably still looking at around about £30 or so. What did I write down? Uh, all of the rings. No, I put £20 down. So the, the pair should be able to shift for 30 minimum. I'll be honest, I'm probably going to aim for 50 plus shipping and then take offers on it because that has never been fingered. Yeah, sorry, change positions a little bit. We bought a board game. We paid £4. If it is complete, we're looking at around £25 plus shipping back for it. I think I opened this up in the shop. I'm sure I did. I've not actually gone through any of it yet. But there we go. Oh, it's all moved around because it's just been thrown in the back of the van. Fantastic. Looking forward to doing that. I uh, bought some clothing as well. Uh, oh no, what else was there? It was a Bop It before we did the clothing. Bop It paid £2. Might be able to get seven pound pack, seven pound plus shipping back for this. It does work. Solo. I've just realised that's going to go Cassie. off again. Party. Solo. Party. Solo. I'll wait for it to die. Uh, so yeah, that was two pounds. Should get around seven pound back for that. It's the start. I shouldn't have pressed anything. Uh, then we've got right tops. This is. I'm going to sleep. Thank God. This cost me a fiver. Now, I didn't see this until after I bought it, that there is a marking somewhere. I'm sure there's a marking somewhere. And it looked, well, it looked like a stain. Either way, I'm gonna wash it, but it is Helly Hansen. And it is, it is a large. But it's quite nice, fleeced inside. Good for this sort of weather, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wash it, hopefully over the weekend. I need to find that mark because it's, oh, there we go, right. This is me telling you so that when I watch this back, I'll remind myself where it was. Uh, but on the, the right hand side, right next to that tag there, you see there's a slight mark there. If that comes off, I'm gonna be a very, very happy boy indeed. Looking about 30 quid, I think, back for that maybe, no idea. And then the last, almost the last item, because there's some more books there that I completely forgot about. We have a brand new with tags, Crew Clothing Company. It retailed at 59.99. I paid 12 quid. I'm gonna aim for like 40 plus shipping. 
uh, because it is brand new with tags. Why not? Why not? Picture it, throw it up in the loft, forget about it until someone buys it. Lovely jubbly, and then the last set of items, which is a bit of a fail. These aren't worth a great deal. Star Wars books. So this retailed at $17.99 when it first came out. It's worth about fiver now, which is not a great deal. Uh, like the, the listings are all over the place. I presume it's because a lot of it is no longer canon. Whereas before the last three came out, I think a lot of them were, which was, it's so complicated. But yeah, paid a pound, bit of a fail. But I didn't just do it once. No, 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 no. Did it twice. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm an idiot. So there we go. All done. So it's currently about half past four Friday. I'm going to very, very quickly list the, uh, the Tolkien books and do the big bundle of books because they're, they're quite big, bulky items. You never know. Christmas stick maybe ups one day delivery on it might get very very lucky indeed we'll have to wait and see but that is it from me as always thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe all that lovely stuff and i'll see you tomorrow au revoir